Hell hath no fury like a surgeon scorned. Let's talk The Shapes of Wrath by Melissa Yee. Welcome to Pen to Paper. I am Leah. I was supposed to put this video out last week, but it's here finally this week. Today I'm going to do a single video review for local author, friend of mine, Melissa Yee, The Shapes of Wrath. This is the first book in a series called Hope's Seven Deadly Sins, and the deadly sin that this book is centering on is wrath. Isn't that just an awesome title? The Shapes of Wrath, you know, going off the Grapes of Wrath. I've actually never read The Grapes of Wrath, so I'm not sure how it holds up against the classics, so don't expect it to. Um, I'm guessing this is completely all on its own since this is a medical thriller, which I don't think The Grapes of Wrath have anything to do with. But let's get down to this. So um, this series is actually a spin-off series or a secondary series from the Hope Z series. Hope Z is a, well, I read the first book in the Hope C series, and then I skipped two to five, and then I read the last few books, so I can't really quite tell you, <laughs> I can't really quite tell you what happens in the beginning of the series, but basically she starts out as a resident, and she has a knack for solving murders, and each murder in the original series is very unique in the circumstances that set it up and deal with different aspects of murder. Um, the last one in the first series was to do with, uh, actually it was kind of a little bit of historical fiction um, with the, I believe it was the Prohibition era and there was a ghost involved and then the one before that I believe was in an airplane and then the one before that was in Egypt so <laughs> all these books are very very unique on its own and so is this this is definitely focusing on wrath as a deadly sin hope here is now a resident uh, sorry she's doing her general surgery rotation with her boss dr. Rack. now dr. Rack is known for being an extreme bully in the OR against the anesthesiologists, against the nurses, against the doctors he works with, and he's constantly screaming and touching people inappropriately, and he can do it all because he has the power of his name and his background. Um, and yet, and yet, people are dying. Patients are dying because of his ego, because he feels that he has all the power and so this puts hope in a position where there are i believe there are two deaths overall in the book but there is a murder and then there's a hit and run which sends her on the spiral of trying to figure out who is the murderer now i it could be the or chief that's constantly yelling at people and has a terrible terrible anger problem, or maybe it's someone else. And for that, I'm not going to tell you. But I am going to tell you a little bit about Melissa's writing style. She has a great way of, well, I, I have to say, out of all the books I've read of hers, this one was really well paced. I felt like it was constantly moving. There was always something to grab my attention. It was a well paced thriller. There were no low points or sagging points or extra information dump that I didn't need. It was all very on point. And she does, because she is a um, doctor herself, she talks about medical practices and terminology. And she puts it in here, but she actually explains it in ways that are very easy to understand. But at the same time, she's not constantly every scene bringing it up that information over again. So she's explaining it well. She might throw in a few reminders of what the medical terminology is and what the doctors are actually talking about. But overall, it's well explained. And you really do appreciate as a reader, if you don't know anything about the medical 
field, um, finding out about what all this terminology means and, and what are the practices and, and the types of surgeries and, and how they go about fixing people in the OR. So Melissa does a great job with that. The pacing is excellent. I felt like the characters, Dr. Rack, he does, he is very well explained, especially as you get to know more about his backstory that's being dug up by, I think it's another doctor, who looks into his past and finds out why his wrath is such a, a big part of who he is. And even uh, Hope herself, as a character, grows in this book. So character growth is great. And also what's really fun with these books, because they are contemporary, she throws in a lot of culture, culture bits. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't write like anything down that really stuck out to me, but there's always at least two in each book that she brings up and you're like, oh yeah, I know what she's talking about because we live in it. So that's kind of cool. But she brings it up in a way that's very hip and witty and hope is very much like that. She's a little self-deprecating, but she's very confident and um, but at the same time, she's she's she's, you know, badass. And yeah, so she's a great likable character. Definitely if you like thrillers, if you are interested in medicine, this is a medical thriller. Pick this up, guys. This is a great sizzling read. The Shapes of Wrath by Melissa Yee. I hope that you enjoyed this single book review. Tell me, have you even ever read a medical thriller? And if you have, which one is your favorite so far? Remember, pick this up if you like it. That genre. Take care.